Hi guys. Welcome back to Just Carve Rob. It's time to worm. And together, we're going to carve the sea captain. That's what we're doing today. We've done a little sanding on him. We've got his arms rounded over a little bit. And uh, we started cutting the coat in. And I said, oh, Rob, we need to bring our friends along so they can see what you're doing. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be using the Dremel with an extremely extreme bit. And we're going to take all this wood out. Right there is his feet line. His feet is, his feet is right there. So we're going to take all this wood out. We're going to leave that coat. We're going to leave all that coat behind there. Okay? So, so we're going to have to do a voiceover and editing and get that all cut in. Okay, so don't go away. And here we go with the voiceover. And we're gonna we're gonna take this extreme, extreme, extreme bit, and we're gonna cut all that wood away. We're gonna cut it all away. And we're just gonna use feet and strack it. We're gonna give them 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 rubber boots. Rubber boots. We're gonna give them. And we're just gonna keep keep removing all that wood until we get down to where his boots. And his legs are under his jacket. It's raining today. It's hot and sticky. Got the air conditioner on in the man cave. Carving away the feet. We're gonna carve them back so they sit up underneath that coat. It's hot, hot and sticky. We gotta keep working to make sure that we're cutting the feet evenly on both sides. So that's what we're looking at there to make sure that we got that taken down evenly or as close as we can get it by eye. And get rid of some of that sawdust. Now we're coming in with the with the uh, micro motor and we're using a coarse bit. The flame bar was a little too wide. We're going to do a little split on the jacket so it's flowing both ways. We're pushing up underneath that jacket. We're undercutting that jacket to make his legs sit up higher under his jacket. So when you look at him, you don't see just wood. So we're getting up underneath there and we're going to cut it back. We're going to cut it way back there. And up and inside. And we have to do the same thing on his hat. we got to get that cut up underneath there give it that shadow effect shadows is what makes the carving come to life all them shadows up in there and we're waiting on parts for our truck it won't be here till Saturday so we can get that fuel that pesky fuel pump inside installed into that truck and then the just carve rob Shop truck will be back on the road tearing it up. Then we gotta go get some more, some hot, some some better sticky tire so it sticks to the road. Okay, we gotta get a softer compound tire. Do that little split on the jacket there, make it look like it's flowing both ways. It's coming along pretty quick, pretty good. I know there's a lot of videos on this guy, but I want to give you as much information as I can. I don't want to shortchange you by saying here he is, he is done, when he's not done. You know what I'm saying? Just so, so I can share this carbon technique with you. I know my voice sounds a lot different without my toothings. But it's going to be a while before I can get some new tooth that's put in my head. Because it's all swelled up in there. And then maybe my voice will come back the way it should be. Maybe. We're hoping. But until then, you're just going to have to listen to a funny sounding just called Rob. And we're rounded in pockets over. We're using that coarse bit. Rounded in pockets over. We do have a taper burr, 
that's extremely extreme, but I think it's too extreme for what we're doing here. We're almost to the finished point and the finished size, so we don't want to get put no great big gouges down into them. And sometimes you hit a soft spot with them coarse bits, and they just dig in like a mole in sand. Just dig right on down in there. You see, we got his beard. His beard is done. His beard is all carved. We're gonna go back, and we're gonna take a diamond bit, and we're gonna cut all them hairs in his beard. And then we're gonna wood burn his beard, and we're gonna wood burn the rest of them, get all them little fuzzy things out. Get them out from underneath his arms. Yes. I wanted to do some work on another car today, but it's raining now. And the just car Rob is not a duck. He does not like to work in the rain, especially when you got your car up on jack stands because the truck is bottling up my car lift at this point in time. So we just got to wait until the rain stops and then we can get the car on a jack and some jack stands. And then see what we're doing? We're carving a little flip, a little flip, a little flip on that coat like it's flipping out, like the wind's blowing up his skirt. It's coming along pretty good. Now we're, we're shaving down the wheels. We're gonna change bits. Yeah, we're going back to that extreme bit. We're going to get that cut right down there. We're going to get them footsies cut right in. And feet, we got to get them feet cut back. So they're under the coat. Because he's not standing like that, you know. He's like standing on the deck. Looking at the seagulls as they fly over his head. So we want his feet together so he can rock with the boat. He's a boat man. He's a captain. Captain of the boat. Okay, we're gonna shape them feet down. We're gonna get them, get them. We're gonna leave him kind of big because he's wearing them big rubber boots, you know, so he don't get water in his shoes, so he doesn't get water on his socks. We're just gonna cut them, cut them down. We're gonna make them round, we're rounding them over. Yeah. It's hot. Hot and sticky. Whew. Now we're, we're looking at the bottom to make sure we get the same roundivity, roundness. Get the same, the same radii on each side of his foot, feet. Oh, tell you what, there goes my hose again. Where are you going, hose? Captain saying, where are you going, hose? Okay, get ready for the next section. The next installment is coming. Okay, guys, here we are. We're steady moving on now. Stuntworm, what are you doing here? Hello. So we're going to do some wood burning on him. First, we're going to draw in his, where the buttons are, his uh, jacket. We're going to put a little swing to it. We're going just off center. Because that's how your jacket is when you have buttons like that. Yeah. So we're just gonna we're gonna draw that in there. We're gonna make it nice. And then we're gonna come back with a wood burner. And we're gonna burn those lines in. Okay? We could use the SCM high speed air tool, but my air compressor is not running at this time. Uh, because I haven't turned it on today. So we draw it in. Where the buttons are on going to be on his jacket and we're going to take the wood burner and we're going to use the wood burner because I think we can get up on in there and and burn out the fuzzes yes wood wood burn the sea captain that's what that sign said wood burn the captain I put things like that in my video so I know where one part of the video ended and you can see we're wood burning down each side of where the where the buttons are going to be on his jacket. Okay, we have a we have a wood burner. It's a razor tip. At we have it set at five. Now, if you do not like the black lines from the wood burner, 
but you still want to get rid of your fuzzies, turn your wood burner down. It will still help you burn the fuzzies off, but it will not leave the black lines. Okay. So we're going to wood burn the beard to separate it from the jacket. So it doesn't look like it's one piece. Okay. We're going to get up on in there. And we're going to do a little wood burning in there. And that will separate the beard from the jacket. It also helps when I am painting. So you know how it is when you're painting the, the coloring books by number or, or, or crayons or whatever? That by separating everything with your wood burner, it gives you a finer line to paint on. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. We'll burn the fuzzies out up there by the lip. Okay, and we're, we're using that wood burner to separate the beard. Uh, we're going in there to get rid of the radius that's left by your Dremel or your micro motor or your rotary tool because it will leave that cup shape in there. And like Jordy says, you don't want to have your lip look like it's attached your mustache so we're gonna go in there and we we'll just separate the lip from the mustache using the wood burner as, as well we will separate the mustache from the beard so it doesn't look like it's all one tangled mess okay and we're gonna go wood burn the arm and uh, I like put, using the wood burner uh, because a lot of times the black lines from the wood burner will show through the paint and allow us to see the separations through the paint so it doesn't all come out like one big yellow blob right and we still have a you can see the difference between the arms one that is burnt and one that is not burnt so that's why I like to wood burn it, to give it that separation. It makes it stand out better, and it helps me when I'm painting. Okay. We will also, after we paint this guy, we will also go over him with the antiquing wax. And it will get down into all those little crevices and make it stand out. You can also accomplish that by taking that black paint black paint and like, water it down and do a wash and the longer you leave it sit the more it will get the more it will stay so if you got deep cuts like I do um, make sure you have a q-tip or, or cotton tip thing to get in there and get that paint out now you can always go back with a little water on your brush and dab it on there and get it off his face too if you got too much okay and we're burning up under that hat to uh, do a separation between the hat and the head you can see we're holding the pin on about a 45 degree angle and now we'll get the back side of that on get that burnt in to make it stand out you notice we're not going around the pockets because we don't want the pockets to really stand out okay and so we're gonna have some sand okay we're gonna sand these little guys I like using these sanding sticks that you can get all over the place you can get them at, at Hobby Lobby you can get them at uh, Amazon you can get them at Mountain Wood Carvers get them all over the place they come in a kit and they come with extra belts and the, the colors vary the grit of the sandpaper so right now we're using like an 80 grit and we're sanding him down where it was all fuzzy so then now we're going to a hundred grit and we're sanding him down to get rid of the fuzzy and then that one there is like a hundred and twenty grit so we get rid of the fuzzies and we're going to be spending some time sanding him. 
getting him all sanded up and ready for paint. It's a lot of work doing these little guys. But it's worth it in the end because they look so good. I like my little guys I got up on my shelf. The old sea captain is looking pretty good, I would say. So it's just going to be sand, sand, sand for the next couple hours, maybe a day. I don't think a day. I think a day would be way too long. I think maybe an hour or so of sand. And he's not very big. He should sand off pretty quick. And you can see where we had gone already and would burnt the soles of his shoes on. And we're sanding off the black, the, the soot from the wood burner. All right. So it's a, just a matter of the finish now. The better you sand your pieces and finish them, or clean them up to get rid of the fuzzies, the better he will look in the end. If you know what I'm saying. Because when you put the paint on, it makes all that stuff sand stand out. All the fuzzies and stuff like that will stand right out on you. Look at how fast I can sand. No, that's not me. All right? So, that's about it for the sanding. And here's a look at our sea captain. He's all carved and all wood burnt and all sanded, I think. You know how that go, though. You might think he's sanded and find more stuff you want to sand. So, that's it for this one, guys. Share, subscribe, like. Be awesome, carve something awesome, and we'll catch you on the next one. Alright, bye-bye.